All right, that man Matt Mar here with Shaw Football Insiders. We're back once again. Uh, very excited to talk to a very talented young man out of Butler High School. He attended the Under the Lights camp. He was named one of our standout players at the defensive back position. And uh, we're very excited to talk to him, get to know him a little bit, and talk about his uh, experience at our camp. And that is Butler Bulldogs defensive back, Garen McDougal. So we're going to bring him on right now. How are we doing tonight, sir? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good, man. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So my first question to you is, how was your experience at the Under the Lights camp? And do you feel like you learned anything new? You got any additional exposure? Or did you just have a good time competing against some of the best area competition? Well, you know, I had a great experience at the camp. You know, it's always good competing with some of the best players in the area and also getting uh, coached up by some of the best coaches around. So it was a great experience. All right, Garen. I uh, appreciate that answer. Appreciate the kind things you said about the camp right there. Uh, so let's talk about you as a player on the field. Um, in your opinion, what do you think your strengths are as a player on the field? Uh, you know, when I play, I always come with the mindset of fast and physical, fast and physical. So I feel like if I play fast, play physical all the time, I'm always like, you can't go wrong. So I feel like physicality, speed, play the ball, all that. Very good, very good. And then looking at your highlight film, you know, that backs that up. You know, I, I saw you last year in the uh, playoff game against um, Vance. And, um, you know, you, you made several plays in that game. I've seen you in special teams, returning kicks and punts and things like that. Um, you're an all-around kind of player. So, you know, I definitely agree with what you had to say right there. Um, so, of course, football is not just on the field. It's off the field as well. There's a lot of things that go into the game. Um, in your opinion, what do you bring to a team as an asset off of the football field? I feel like me, I'm like I'm like another coach on the field. So whatever our coach is calling, whatever he has going on, I'm going to echo that to my teammates and make sure they know. And also just in the locker room without coaches, I'm just always there for my teammates. I got their back for whatever. So that's the type of player I am off the field. Very good, very good. That could be almost a perfect answer if I could write one myself. <laughs> that's that's great. That's great. I can tell you're ready to, uh, you know, be on, in a college program on Saturday, that's for sure. Um, so, of course, like we said, it's more to football than just being on the field. It's off the field with your attitude. And now you got to work out. You got to get ready for, you know, combat, basically. So describe how you train to be the best player that you can be on the football. For me, I just come in each day with the mindset, just win the day. So, like, regardless of what I did yesterday, how hard I worked, how hard I worked the day before, just win each day. So, that's just the mindset I have. Very good, very good, man. And that's the right mindset to have, absolutely. Um, and speaking of mindset, at least to the next question, funny enough. Um, what is your mindset when you're taking the field against another player that's on the same level as you, or maybe even, you know, in some experts' eyes, that might be a little better? So how do you attack? Uh, you know, my goal is just to always dominate on all cylinders. So if he's better than me, worse than me, the same, whatever, whoever it is, I'm going to line up and dominate regardless of the person, the name, any of that. Very good, very good. I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, quite simply, my next question is, why do you love football? Well, me, I'm a competitor, regardless of what I'm doing. So if I'm trying to – if I'm racing around the house, if I'm playing Uno, basketball, or whatever, I'm a competitor. So I just love to compete. And it's football just what I decided to compete with and take serious. And I also, football is just no other brotherhood like it. No, I just let a camaraderie in the game. It's just amazing. Awesome. Awesome answer, man. I love it. Um, so let's talk about you off the field. Uh, what kind of person are you off the field? What do you like to do in your free time? I mean, are you more of just kind of like a relaxed dude? Are you, a, you know, kind of a clown? I mean, what, what kind of person is Gary? Mm. You know, I say I'm real down to earth. You know, I like to 
I like to relax, chill. Sometimes I play the game. Also, when I'm not busy with football, I'll go watch my younger brother uh, play basketball, help him, support him. Because a lot of times I'm busy with football, so I like to make sure I'm with him as much as I can before I go off to college. Very good, very good. So you don't mess with the video games or nothing like that? Uh, not too much, not too much. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you might create yourself in Madden and do some things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good deal, good deal. Uh, all right, so what do you like most about playing for your school at Butler and then playing for your head coach, uh, Brian Hales? Man, playing at Butler is just like – it's like a big family. You know, over this quarantine period, I could name three to four guys that played at Butler in the past that I worked out with, like Clifton Doug, Jawan Edwards, um, Ryan Houston. Like, they all just give back to the program, and it's amazing. And playing for Coach Hales, it just, it's like no other. You know, ha having a head coach that's just, just as passionate for the game as you are, and you know he'll always have your back, it's just, it's amazing. Very good. You named some, some special names right there, man. I mean, I'm going to show my age a little bit, but I remember covering Clifton Duck and, you know, Ryan Houston in high school and when they were in high school. Yeah. Man, I tell you, yeah. great, great. It's good that you see, you know, people giving back that came through the program, man. That's awesome. Um, how did you get started into football in the first place? Well, really – uh, my dad, he played cornerback at Winston-Salem State. So people, my whole family, they tell me when I, they said I, would, I learned how to walk like six months. They said as soon as I learned how to walk, he had me backpedaling down the house. So I guess, I guess that's how it started. That's pretty amazing right there. Yeah. <laughs> six months old backpedaling. <laughs> Man, that's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> good, good deal, good deal. Um, who would you like to thank for your um, football success so far in your career? Uh, well, first and foremost, definitely God, because none of this would be possible without him. But I definitely thank my mom, my dad, my brother, and all my close friends and family just for pushing me to the player I became today. And it's a lot more work to be done. Very good, very good. Um, you know, one thing I didn't put on here, but I, I do want to ask you, um, what are you looking for out of school, and, and are there any schools that you're particularly interested in at, at this time? Uh, I'm interested in a few schools right now. I'm just trying to figure out what fits best. You know, I haven't been able to visit because of the uh, COVID situation, but I'm just looking forward to a school that just take me and my family in and just make me feel like I'm at home because, you know, somewhere where you're going to be for the next four to five years, three to five years, really. But somewhere you're going to be that long is basically your second home. So you definitely want it to be, you know, a home environment. Very good. Very good. So we're going to have a, a good number of people watching this. Um, obviously, we're not doing it live. But uh, is there anything you want to say to the people that watch this, especially that support you and have supported you throughout your entire career at Butler? Yeah, I just want to appreciate everybody that pushed me, pushed me hard. And I I also want to let y'all know that Butler DBs, all of us are going all conference this year, and we're going to state championship. Simple as that. I love the confidence, man. That's a great way to end the interview. So I'm going to leave it right there at that, man. Uh, Garen, I appreciate your time today, man. And, um, you know, I'm excited to see, you know, you and your teammates at Butler uh, do some big things on the field this year, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate you for having me.